<laughs> I love that you down here. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the charming and witty fashion designer who recently took home first place crown, honey. Yes, on Lifetime's TV, television show, Project Runway's All Star. And he joins us now to break down all of the fashion do's and do nots for this season. Please welcome Anthony L. Hello. Anthony. <laughs> Thank you for having me. How are me. you? I'm wonderfully well. G yes, you are. And I just got to get into this look, honey. I love this. Can you just stand for a second? I want you to stand? Yes, I, okay. I want to get into this look. Because this morning when I saw you, you had a completely different oh, outfit Oh, well, yeah, on. I don't travel in my work clothes, oh, for sure. But you do style them. Uh, well, thank you. Yes, God. You thank look amazing. You. I love what you've done with the shoes and bringing thank the brooch you. into it. So, Project One Runway, you won the All-Star. So, this was the the creme de la creme of everyone. I would like to think so. Season six, I tell you, was amazing talent. I don't know. You know, sometimes I look back and I'm like, where did they get all these people who are so, like, talented? So it was definitely a war. It was not yes. just a battle. It was a war for the crown, for sure. What was one of your most challenging moments during that process? Um, the, one of the challenging moments for me was, like, food. Really? I'm very p particular. And sometimes when you're moving and shaking in film and television, like, things can just go so, you yep. know, left, but you just always want to stay on top of that. And I'm just serious about food. I think if you give me the energy and the resources I need, I will always deliver on camera. Yes. So that was just something I was very serious about. So he said he's going to hit his note, good people. He's going to Definitely. Hit his note. So when did you get into fashion? I mean, you've done some amazing things. Well, I grew up in the projects. Who ever thought that I'd become a couture designer when people used to call me Killer Cooper? Because uh -oh. I used to live in Cooper Green Projects. But there I learned that that's not the place where people go to find beauty. So you learn to create beauty within yeah. that. Yes, that's so good. that's where I got started. Probably as a child, like in high school, I started making my little sister the most over-the-top Easter dresses. Like <laughs> it was a very in it was an intentional situation, but it was uh, a fashion show at the church. Listen, <laughs> we fly for Christ. I love that. I love that. <laughs> listen, so okay, um, Project Runway. Mm -hmm. You had some challenges there. What was one of the, the, the things that you said, oh my God, I do not ever want to relive this again? What would that have been? Oh, <laughs> there were many things that happened. Um, but I would have to say, we were in a different location because Parsons was um, demolished because they're making a new one. Mm -hmm. And um, so we had to do a build out in, for the production, so we used the same restroom Ooh. as the crew. Oh, and you just don't and do I that. And I tell you, there is something a little unsettling when you use the restroom with the guy who does microphones and he doesn't actually wash his hands when you're in the room. And I'm Ooh. like, oh, no, this is not. Ooh. So that was just one of those Anthony. moments where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put my little mic on for myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no mystery in this process I anymore. I live, I live. So if you had to say, going into Project Runway All-Stars, Something that you didn't use, you were not a skill, that you were not as efficient in, but you're now like all over, you've mastered it. What would that skill be? I've always been confident in my presence as Anthony L. Williams. I don't think that the first two times that I was a part of the brand that I was confident in who I am as a designer. Mm. Oh, so wow. I learned that I have a voice and I have a perspective in fashion. And I think that if I am shy and I'm not confident mm. in that, then I am denying the world my gift in fashion. Mm. So I definitely learned to become full circle and confident in who I am as a designer. You have to have some level of ego in who you are as a designer. Oh my. My God, I love that some level of ego, and they yeah. had ego at the Met Gala. They did. Yes. It was a lot of ego at yes. the Met Gala. Now it let's go through lot. some of these looks. I'm ready. Who did you think was like best dressed? Oh, that's to such a difficult question. Well, that's why I'm giving okay. it to you. I'm not gonna give you anything easy. Um, Oh, who do I think was best dressed? I, I always think Rihanna looks amazing yes. because I think it's one thing to wear the most outlandish costume, but I think to be able to carry it is a different conversation. Uh -huh. um, and I think she just did a fabulous job. I know people are questioning what she was wearing, but she gets it. a solid score from me. Yeah, I lived for it. Yeah. Gabrielle Union. You know, Gabrielle Union looked amazing. I don't know if she actually spoke to the theme of the Mad Gala, but I think that at some point, honey, if you look lovely, you just look lovely. Well, it was heavenly bodies, so maybe she was, you know, maybe she was the sunshine body. on the heavenly bodies. Come on, yeah. come through. Yeah, you can find it if you just go in there and look just for it. Just dig a little deeper. That's all. Mm -hmm. What about Nicki Minaj? You know, Nicki Minaj was a solid miss for me. What? 
Yeah, she was a miss for me. Why did you say that, Anthony? Um, because I think that the one thing I wish I could have just held up a sign and told all of the hairstylists that day was that just because you are uh, putting on head pieces doesn't mean you get to neglect the hair. Um, and I think that it's challenging. I think that you can't mimic what has come before. You have to know how to carry a train if you're going to have a train. And it's nothing against Nicki Minaj. I think that it comes down to stylists assessing who they're dressing and learning mm. their areas of vulnerability and where their strengths are. Yes. Talking about, speaking of strengths uh, and, and knowing the trend, let's talk about some of the spring trends. Okay. What are some of the do's and don'ts? I think do be comfortable. Like, it's so, it's so many layers in the fall and winter. Try to be as comfortable as possible in the spring. I think wear clothes that have movement. Mm -hmm. You know, for a lot of ladies, people enjoy... I enjoy watching a woman walk into the room and I see movement in what she's wearing. Mm, the flow. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And listen, don't wear Spanx unnecessarily. Let's, I was just going to talk to you about those spanks. Those I'm spanks are very, they're dangerous. They now, are. Let's talk about when the young ladies wear the dresses and then they, they, they don't take in consideration when they sit down, they have the spanks underneath them and now you're sitting and now we can see your spanks. We're no longer looking at your dress. Right. Not only can we see the spanks, but sometimes spanks can concentrate certain pockets of Mm -hmm. fat mm -hmm. in certain areas. So I, working as a costume designer, I learned that you can do a fitting without Spanx and then put Spanx on and sometimes it can change the total fit of the garment and not for the better. So I think that like, do a full circle in that mirror. You're always doing stuff because people always have pictures. You know, have mm -hmm. people taking pictures for them. Have someone there to take pictures to check that fit for you all the oh, way I around. Oh, I like that. Check the fit. Check, check the, the fit. fit. How about that? Well, Anthony, thank you so thank much you. for joining us here at Sister Circle. We love having you. And congratulations again for being the reigning crown Listen. king <laughs> of Project <laughs> Runway. And for more tips and more on Anthony, of course, you can always go to anthonyl.com.